It's the NFL on EA Sports. And this one features Tank Dell. He's on the milestone in a great season, approaching 1,200 yards. It's the Wizards and the Colts. All that and more coming up next. First open back in 2008. There's a look at Lewis Old Stadium here in downtown Indy. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season. And we've got a compelling one in store here. As it'll be the Wizards of Louisville taking on the Indianapolis Colts. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They come in off a loss last time out, but they've been playing better than 500 ball in the last couple months. Five wins in their last eight games. Meanwhile, for the visitors, they too were losers, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. Here's the former Utah Ute, Matt Gay, to get this started. Montrell Washington on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. Well, man, Lewis, welcome back to the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. We are another episode of the Blue Wizards Cupcake Relocation Franchise right here on Madden 24. If you missed any of the other episodes, they are on the channel in the playlist. Comes this offense to take over for the first time. And the court time signal caller in the National Football League, former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco. They'll start on the ground here on first down. I love just about everything about him. Love his game, love his makeup, love his moxie. One of my favorite words. This guy's a competitor. Gritty, tough, you name it, he's got it. But he did throw an interception in last week's game. That contributed to a loss. And despite the fact he touchdown passes, he's going to be out there redoubling his efforts and trying to play better. to throw on first and ten with Flacco. And it's nearly an interception right off the bat. An early crisis averted as that winds up incomplete. I hear the key in actus for this one, Charles, and as you get towards the latter stages of the season, you hope that this is a clean graphic with no names, but well, that's hard to do in the NFL. Yeah, there's almost no way you think it's going to be like that. It's just a matter of what names are on the list and how you prepare to play without them. Everyone wants to finish strong, but the only way to do it, forget the inactive list and focus on the guys. in terms yeah. of numbers. One touchdown, one pick, but obviously a loss. Yeah, that's the bottom line for him. All he cares about is how do we find a way to win the game. Maybe he leans on some few other parts of the offense, and hopefully he explains a receiver or two. On the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. And they'll hand off to Hull. And he's fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. After watching that play result, it took me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and we asked him, how you put him move the ball against his defense? He didn't really tip his hand, did he? No, he didn't. I think it's because he really didn't have an answer. He wasn't quite sure how he was going he to get stopped. it done. Cool. And that play showed us exactly why he was worried. Yeah, this number one defense, they can put on their highlight reel. They have been able to stop the run all season long. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. 
And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the one here, the 12-yard line. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And it's all come down to this, hasn't it? Final week of the regular season. As this year's playoffs play on anything like the regular season is gone, could be in for a wild and fun month of January. And rules because we can look ahead. All right, there's not a coach out there that's ever said to their team, all right, let's look three, three weeks down the road. It's always right here, right now. Forget that. Think about what the playoffs are going to look like. The teams that we see that are already in, the teams that are trying to get in, great teams. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. The right so the Colts. set him down, started. They right to stop him here. here. To pick up the first down and move the chains. Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. Here's Ty Zentner now. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. And they'll be set up with great field position as this is going to be touchdown right at the 40-yard line. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. And they'll run with Hall. Shreds the tackle. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now hold. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one a first down pickup of eight. First down two at the 26-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Indianapolis with the homestanding Colts in possession. As they've got it with a first and ten. Now Richardson, he's going to keep it running right. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. From the shotgun, Richardson over the middle complete. That's McKenzie. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, here's Richardson. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacks back at the 31. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So not only do you not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Louisville offense back out now. And partner, let me make a quick pivot here. Season winding down. They're number 32 in offense this year. The last in the league. Where do they go? Anywhere and everywhere. But they have to do it with a plan. And I think about Atlanta a bunch of years ago. They decided they wanted to get what they thought was going to be a franchise quarterback. And indeed he is, Matt Ryan. But they had to supplement it. They went free agency, got a running back, came back and traded back into the first round in the same draft to get a left tackle to protect him really supplemented that pick, complemented that pick, and went to the playoffs the very next year. Well, maybe they can use that and carbon copy it. And Great job by well Jake Dell. Midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Flacco from the gun. Incomplete. And incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. 
Have to give some credit to the defender on that one. He read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Flacco here on second down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, there's an incompletion. No oh, joke, Flacco. The the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Here's Flacco. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Kyle Van Noy in there to take him down take us to the two-minute warning. On now is Ty Zentner to punt. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll go as just a 15-yard punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. That's that. That's, 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 that's over. It's complete here on the first play of the drive. Down the sideline he goes. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce hitting double digits with his tenth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead grows to 10 0. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Louisville offense back out now. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10-zip as they come up first and 10. Passing play. Flacco. Throw left side, taken in by Washington. Flacco, a veteran in these situations, hurrying his guys up. Second and six. And he'll get it right back to Washington. They'll get to the line here. Remember, it's also third down. A handoff here to Ogan Bawale. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes back. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and run for it. And he works free. And they get him down, but not before that he was takes a good it run. across the 40-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Flacco. And he knocks the ball away. Incomplete. I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. But certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds not up Not doing so well here. Okay. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half. But the Shoulder strain. We'll keep Boone in there. certainly want to keep him off the scoreboard here. Seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Flacco looks to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Whistle foul. Roughing the passer. Defense. Now you don't want to see that penalty at any point, but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down. It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match. They had him on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake presets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try and stop this drive. Here's second and 10. On the carry, it's Boone. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go. Barring a flag, final play here for Flacco and company. And he's taken down inside the 30. So we hit halftime here in Indianapolis with the Colts on top. 
as we'll head down to Orlando. That's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA. Only two quarters of football left in the regular season. Everybody's excited to get to the playoffs. So excited that we're just going to skip right over halftime and get back to the action. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. 10-0 is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on it off now. Look out. Searching for adjustments. Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and four. Now Richardson. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. The tight end is certainly in position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. But they've got good hands that, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Richardson to throw off play action. Oh, he's wide open. Pulled in by Garrett. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Anthony Richardson. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Colts take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And it fights through one man. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now Flacco. Going to throw right side. And I think the ball's out. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they will set up shop in enemy territory. At the 42-yard line. These guys wanted to get back in this game. They, and now before the ball changes yeah, hands, thought. they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Review. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. There you they go. Say the knee That's was what we down, needed. and that will not be ruled a fumble. They'll run with Boone here. Shoves him aside. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Again, they're going to go with Boone. Down to the 42, second down. And quickly, they get to the line. Flacco off play action. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown. 
Christian Wilkerson. 42 yards. And the Wizards are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Flacco looking to throw for it. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. And they decide fairly early here they need the ball back, so here's an onside kick. And this is oh, going to be taken. That was bad. We should have done that, folks, but it's the last game of the season. We're going to do what we got to do. The onside kick, what you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel. But they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and a yard. Check, check. Reload, reload, check. Perfect. That complete to Downs. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Josh Downs, 32 yards. And the Colts are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point by Gain is up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. Back now here on EA Sports. Where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score on the final play of the third quarter. Washington now brings this out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So here's Louisville set to take over on offense. Play action, Flacco rolling to his left. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Come on, Flacco. We can do this. Operating out of the gun. Flacco. Weeks. And his throw here is incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Second and 10. Flacco fakes the give, sets to throw. And it's going to incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, here we go, folks. This has got to be in oh. here. Now Flacco. It could be. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And he'll be taking it down, but not before they work it across midfield. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got. Who else? Tank Dell. Yeah, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. They go pass again with Flacco. Throwing right, and that's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And they're going to speed things up here. A red zone first down for Flacco. And his throw is incomplete. 
Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page. Here we quarterback go. Quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. And again, it's Flacco to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Julian Blackman in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. It completes. It's going to be batted down, and will go the other way with the football. A fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And this 11 play drive is going to lead to nothing on the scoreboard. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And a decent game there as that takes us to the two minute warning. 44 yards rushing for him. So this game, forward. folks, wasn't so Colts in possession really nothing to speak about. Get your reset. Now, second and three. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. Richardson hit and he fumbles it. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. So the fumble recovery, now Flacco to throw. Steps away to his left. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So here we go. Incomplete on first down. Now Flacco on second. Bumble! Here he lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the first Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge. That's going to be the last play of the now. game, folks. It's that, this that game is over. In any rush offensively. It was an ugly game. Definitely an ugly game. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football. And I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You just you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, but I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So for Indianapolis, they finish above 500 for the year. The final tally, 9-8. and eight. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better-than-average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for Louisville, this loss will be the capper to a dismal 4-13 and 13 campaign. And this front office will have plenty of work to do in the draft and through free agency. So there you have it, folks. Plenty of uh, work to do through the draft and free agency. But question I have is what do we do Oops. what do we do folks 
What do we do with this team? We got 59. What do we do with this team? So. We are going to go to the wild card. Week 18. We'll skip to the wild card real quick. In the next episode, folks, we will continue to skip that. We'll talk about the team and what the direction of the team is going into the draft and into the offseason. If you're new, scratch your claw marks to the bottom right corner of the screen. Step your body to that bell icon. Become part of the notification squad. Do not forget to put a like to the video. It's much appreciated. Remember, always stay hungry. Hungry like the wolf. Ah, 